Welcome to Accu Web Hosting Video Tutorial. Today, we will guide you on how to secure a full backup from a cPanel account. If you want a PDF file of this video tutorial, you can download it from our Telegram channel Accu Web Hosting. Before we begin, take a look at AccuWebHosting.com to review various hosting services offered by us. You can contact us through chat, phone, or send us an email at sales at AccuWebHosting.com. Let's begin the tutorial. First, we will see some important points of the full backup. First one is. It is used to create a full account backup including the website's home directory, MySQL databases, emails and DNS settings. Second one is. It's mainly used for transferring a cPanel account to another hosting provider. Third one is. You cannot use a full backup to restore your website from the cPanel account. Fourth one is. Whenever you take a backup of the cPanel account, make sure that you have enough space on your hosting account to run the backup process. Fifth one is. The system stores full backup files as tarballs that use the .tar. GZ file extension. Let's see the steps of how to secure a full backup from the cPanel account. First of all, you need to log in into your cPanel account. Go to the file section. In the file section, you will get two options. One is backup. And the second one is backup wizard. You can use both options to secure the full backup of your account. The difference is that the backup wizard gives step-by-step -step guidance in choosing how or what you want to backup. Whereas in backups you will see all the options in a single window. Here, we are going to select backup wizard for an example. Click on it. Once you click on it, the backup wizard window will be open. Click on the backup button. By clicking on it, you will get two options. Full backup and select partial backup. Since we want to secure a full backup, we will go to the full backup section. Before clicking on the full backup button, you should read the important note mentioned by the cPanel account. You can only use this option to move your account to another server or to download a copy of your account. You cannot restore full backups through your cPanel interface. Click on the full backup button to proceed further. Once you click on it, a new window will be opened with the name backups available for download. In the backups available for download section, you will have a list of the backup if you have generated it earlier. Here, you can see that we have generated a number of full backups of our account. Go to the Generate a full backup section. In the Backup Destination field, you will get multiple options. You need to select it as per your convenience. First one is Select Home Directory. If you want to save the backup files on the hosting account or server, it will save the files in the slash home slash username directory. Second one is select remote FTP server option. If you want to use normal FTP to store the backup file on a remote server another server. Third one is select the remote FTP server passive mode transfer option. If you want to use passive FTP to store the backup file on a remote server. Fourth one is select the secure copy SCP option. If you want to use SCP to store the backup file on a remote server. If you selected the remote FTP server. Remote FTP server passive mode transfer. Or secure copy SCP destinations. 
you need to enter the remote destination's information in the available text boxes. Here, we have selected the home directory option to store the backup file on the server or hosting account. In the email address field, enter an email address on which you want a notification once the backup is completed. Here, we have used nick at accuwebhosting.com as an example. If you do not want a notification of the backup completion, then select the radius button. Do not send email notification of backup completion. Click on the Generate Backup button to generate a full backup of the account. Once you click on it, a confirmation message will appear on the screen. Full backup is in progress. Once the full backup of your account has been completed, you will receive an email at the address you specify. Click on the Go Back link to return to the download section of the interface. If you see in progress in the square bracket in the backup file name, it means that the backup process is in in progress. Once it is completed, the in progress word will disappear and you will get the right tick sign just before the backup file. It means that the backup is completed. If you want to download the backup file in your local system then click on the backup file link. Once you click on it, it will start to download on your local system. The most important thing is that the cPanel adds the backup file creation date after the word backup, which helps you to identify when you have created this backup. It begins with the backup m dd yyyy string where m represents the month, dd represents the date, and yyyy represents the year. Since we have selected the backup destination is the home directory, the backup file will be stored in the home directory. Let's check it. Click on the home icon located on the upper left side of the screen. Go to the file section. Select file manager and click on it. By clicking on it, a new window will be opened with the file manager. By default, cPanel opens the home directory. As you know, the system stores the backup file in the home directory slash home slash username. You can see that the backup file is presented in the home directory. That's all. Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We saw how to secure a full backup from cPanel. Hope this video will be helpful for you. If you like our technical videos, please press the subscribe button and bell icon to receive instant notification of our new videos. Each like is important to us so do not forget to symbol us. To download a PDF file of this video, Please subscribe to our Telegram channel, AccuWeb Hosting, where you will have the access of PDF files of all our videos. Thank you for watching.